Hello Barley Close, so today I'm going to be reading chapter 3 of my story. I have got Honey here for you at the moment, so just make sure that you've said hello. Fantastic, I'm going to pop her back now because she's sleeping, so say goodbye. Bye. I'm going to read to you chapter three, Roamed Around Freely. Around me I roamed freely. The vibrant light pierced through my eyes which caused me to feel unsteady and dizzy. A monstrous flying creature glided across my face as I continued to scamper into the green wilderness. Above me the flying creature made an interested noise which sounded beautiful and pleasant. My life felt like it had just begun. In the distance, I could see a cosy area for myself to fall asleep dreamily. I closed my weary eyes peacefully because I knew I wasn't going to get disturbed. I knew this was going to be the most luxurious sleep ever. Ouch! Ouch! I'm being attacked! Immediately, massive white lumps clattered to the ground like marble spilt from a box. I took cover for dear life. A frozen shiver travelled instantaneously through my spine, so I decided to find a brown block to hide. I was petrified. What had happened to the calm, tranquil breeze? Was someone trying to attack me? Desperately, I climbed into a hole. I started to think about the scrumptious, irresistible smell of carrot and the chilling, cold water Mrs I Love You used to give me. I stared around to see whether there was any carrot, but there was nothing to eat. The bitter cold caused my eyes to start watering uncontrollably with fear. Throughout the whole of my life, I was eager to be free. However, I began to think of Mrs I Love You. While shivering and feeling exhausted, I closed my eyes hopelessly. Wake up! You are frozen! bellowed an unfamiliar voice aggressively. Suddenly, I opened my beady black eyes, as I thought it must be Mrs I Love You. An extra fluffy figure lured over me with concern. Its fur was as shiny as a new silver coin. On its head, it had large, broad ears and an elongated, red, rosy tongue. Thank you for listening. So next week, we are going to be finding out who Honey met on her journey. Fantastic. See you later.